Hello everyone, this is Eris Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Trom Taltian Let's Play. We continue for episode 19 from turn 72 in the autumn season of 204. So last time we thought it was going to be over, but the resistance has proven quite a bit. We beat these four, and then two more showed up. So I'm not sure if this is going to be the final episode. We'll see. So instead of going for Zhang Yan, which is completely meaningless at this point, we're going to march for this, and I think it's going to be rather undefended. So we're going to try to maybe even bypass... No, it feels like we have to take this, so it's going to be two turns. We'll grab this and we'll march across. If we can peace out with them, we'll peace out, even at zero. Yeah, that's not going to happen. That way, Lu Bu's army is freed up too. We have enough counties. Uh, we have enough counties. I guess we can peace out here. We can focus on the north. We're going to actually give him some food. Just one. Make this a five point value. It's not going to help, but... Um, We basically don't have to waste time on them. How do we get across the mountains? That's going to be a tough question, because going this way is pretty far. Going back might be the faster way. And we still need to replenish along the way. We'll keep this army around here, just in case Zheng Jiang comes back to war with us. And this way we have supply back. He hit max level. We'll take that. I think 13 is max level. Oh, there's more. Wow, we can get every point, maybe. Maybe 15 is actually, and they give you two point at the end, perhaps. Alright, so this army... Relatively healthy. Not a very strong front line. Not a lot of supplies. We'll let them rest for a turn. And then we're gonna sail. Same thing here, we'll hop into the water next turn. We'll continue to grab land. In case we lose some land. It's a possibility. Now, can we peace out with them? No. Then we'll just have to wipe them out. They're trying to pull back their army. Yeah, we ended up piecing out, so... We're gonna... We're gonna recall these armies. We're gonna have money... That we can use to resummon them... One at a time, in the north. We'll keep one force here. I would like to go north as well. Right, this way our economy bounces back. That's fine. If they want to fight, it's not a big deal. The bull's going to wrap around. They're just going to rest up.
All right, once that's queued, we can start downgrading this. Yeah, we want these all at level 5 before we downgrade don't. Alright, that might be it. Don't want this. Convert that. And we have 94 left. We could kill her, then we will probably grab her axe, and then we can call her him back, and then we'll get the axe. Because we're never going to get her. So we're going to make the move. Now that we're at peace with them. So we'll wait till he picks up the axe, and then we'll recall him. That's it. It's going to end our turn. Oh, these armies have not moved. It's tough for them to move because we're kind of in a holding pattern here. Replenish. We can't really fight them. We'll sit there as bait. We'll take 2%. It's really all we have. We can do this as well. Maybe we can build it up a little bit quicker. All right, let's see what they do. Going for a big attack. They discovered one of our. They discovered both of our ambushes. You can see our guy standing up. Another big fight. I don't really want to retreat. It's two full stacks. He's full healed now. That's a problem. Jolyon's also full healed. I still don't want to retreat, though. There's a good chance we retreat kind of out of the range of the settlement, and then they just hit the settlement, and we're still in a lot of trouble. Which group is coming from the side? Which, which group is coming from the back? Because one of those group is carrying six trebuchets, even though those trebuchets might only have one or two in them. It's still a sizable group. Uh, it's not... It's her, yeah. There's only one here. It's a good one, but... See if we can pull them over. We're gonna fight on this ledge. We're the defending side, that's our one advantage here. We can draw. And it's fog, which is actually kinda good. They're searching for us because of the fog. They can't see any of our units.
Does he want to fight? He doesn't want to duel. They're going to discover our trebuchets, and they might try to shoot us. That's why I'm responding with... Well, you should go with all our generals. Why are you here? Alright, so they know where we are. They don't know this group, actually. I'm trying to move them over. Man, we have way too many range units in this group. We don't have enough frontline here. They're gonna have to sort of frontline here as gunpowder units. Then basically have to guard our flanks. Actually have them guard this. We have a few bows. Oh, we're going. Already? Stop, stop, stop. I'm gonna wait till it's not just the cavalry. We can go harass. Their cavalry's mostly range. Oh, those Wuhan ones are look a little scary. Also a patch of tree there. Give them some bonus. You can see the accuracy circle getting smaller because of that bonus. Maybe it's not worth getting it all the way over here. our only duelist. Actually, we have bows. We should use our bows. You 
真是可怜的鼠辈。Gonna let them shoot whoever they want now. Can't really micro them anymore. Oh, they have a tribuchet. They're shooting at our tribuchet, I think. Alright, if you have a bow. Try to use it. If they don't have a bow, we're going to send them down. Maybe try to snipe him? They're getting pulled into the fight. That's okay. We probably do need them to fight. Right, he doesn't seem to be moving. Seems like we're gonna weaken him here. She can come back, try to shoot him. Alright, we're gonna spread our guys out so we can be on more targets. Hopefully stopping a few from shooting. They did destroy one, but pretty bad efficiency, so should be okay. Him. All right, debuff them. Let our range do its thing. Might be short on ammo, but it's gonna take them incredible amount of time to get to us, which means we probably don't have to worry about the ammo situation. Like the fighting will be over by then. All right, Wander General died, which triggers some healing. They have recovery. All right, kind of want to gather up my generals. We're kind of scattered. Most of their range units are now gone. Send one over there, send one over there. Alright, all of you go over here.
军四散而逃，到底是无胆鼠辈。快跑！ That was probably their freshest troops. Pull everyone back real quick. Take stock of what we have, what they have. We can try to fight him. 1.2k armor. Okay, actually, that's a bad idea. I'm gonna go kill this. Well, that is fast. All right, if they chased after us, that's actually good. We mass dismount and we kill Gong Sun Zan here. They have a debuff on the cooldowns, but if she leaves, well, actually, we don't need her to leave. She, he's dying. Six of us. Go, go, go. Who's next? You're the wife. Stop running away. Okay, once we have them surrounded... Alright, he's down. Alright, she's going down. Alright, that's enough. We'll go back to our horses. Let's see. These guys... Pull them out. This way we get new units. Dragon units we can play keep. They're trying to regroup with their units. We can go kill these siege weapons first. When they leave, we should get two new ones. Oh, we got more than two new ones. Excellent. Cavalry. Go. Might be a hard, bit hard to see them get all the way over there, but we'll try. I mean, they're attacking. The fact that they're pulling back, it's in our favor, heavily in our favor. All right, their siege weapons are gone. This one might bounce back. He's stuck on one of the machines. There we go.
Alright, he can pull back. He can pull back. They have a grenade. Oh. We didn't pay attention. I got charged by cavalry, I think. Actually, let's just fight here. I'll take one. See if they can get out, the rest of them. Maybe not. We kind of looked away for a second. Now we're in trouble. Yeah, there's too many enemy cavalry. We have to try to pull them away. We got cavalry units. That's going to help. All right, wave two. The enemy don't have a lot of cavalry left. Alright, he won the duel. Still pull him back. I'll take another one. He might lose this one, but it would be fine. I think I can take Yan Yu. start using it. Yep, that definitely helped. The bomb slingers, grenades. Nice, another win. I don't think we can take Zhao Yun. Oh, no, no, no. Spear units. You get out and throw grenades. There's a couple guys in melee. Alright, peel them back. Cavalry counter charge. Dragon units, fight. Grenade that. We're gonna win this too. Dragon's still gonna be a problem. Peel. We have more reinforcements, I think. Yep, so we should be fine. Get them out. We're gonna throw the dragon units over here. 
Nice. Heal. All right, that flank is going to lose, but that's fine. Might just army loss him actually at this point. Alright, got new friends. Six tribuches. <laughs> Here they come. <laughs> All right, we're going to do something a bit crazy here. See if we can kill him while dismounted. I have a bow. Maybe I can shoot him to death. You're just trying to retreat. You fight this. You fight this. We'll set them up for this. Army loss kicking in. There we go. Darwin got taken out. Should be over. Not a bad hold. Another heroic. I guess payments where we will get all their attention and then we'll push the army from the north side, see what we can do. We're gonna execute everyone. So they have seven shattered army on the field at least. There's one here, and there's six over here. Ah, finally. Uh, no need. Might lose a couple land in the south. Not a big deal. Okay, Jorian's wounded. Oh, it did crap a gold armor. Okay, so... These armies... I'm not sure if they can do anything at this point. Kind of just have to hold. I mean, we'll try to take some some land. Alright, we gotta take this first. She has really good replenishment. And it's winter, so I think we're gonna go for the supply. We'll fix everything. We don't have the Fireborn set, Ancestral Pledge, but uh, we'll give him a decent weapon. Oh, 
Unintentional, but we'll take it. Now, despite being in bad shape, they are in much worse shape. I'm assuming they're not going to be able to throw anything else at us. I mean, he's gonna rebuild, but we should be able to rebuild faster than him. That's what I think here. That's why we're gonna kill them instead of just leaving them kind of stranded on the field. Cao Cao's gonna show up. And instead of Chen Dong, we might go with Guo Jia here. Oh, Guo Jia is still on the field? I guess we'll get the game back together. Wait, who was our third? Okay, we have four cavalry. We, we like a front line. Wait, was this really our third? Oh, it's Yu Jin. Right, of course. I actually just kind of want the campaign movement. Northern Army Lancers, Northern Army Cataphracts. I mean, they're good units. We can maybe you know, swap a few of these elite Lancers just to spice things up a little. Actually, enough of Tiger Cubs and Qingzhou Raiders. We'll just go Cataphracts. Want them to look a little neater than that. There we go. Right, they can summon their new guys. We'll summon our new guys. I think he has Oathorns formed. Yeah, with Jiling, so... We're going to have to keep them together. 
，唯有扫清六合，天下才能平定。威加海内，乱世随定。And we'll hang out. Not a lot of supplies, but it's winter. Can't do too much about that. Guan Yu is gonna hop into the water. We'll have a three-prong attack against the capital. We'll have a naval strike. We have a land route. We have a, another flank. We'll stay put for a turn. We don't need to go anywhere there. Yeah, the Numbman faction declaring war on us doesn't really affect us that much. We can lose some land here. I can send this army over. Potentially defend it. Trespass. What's he going to do? Come back to a losing war. And just in case we keep losing land down south, we'll gain some land up here. Take some supplies. Burn it down. Maybe we get application. Actually, we yeah we crush so many armies. It's close now. Four point two. Maybe it'll end before we get to his capital. If only we were trustworthy, this would be positive. Next turn, maybe next turn. All right, we barely have any money. I think we're good. I don't think we get any spies. Oh, his wife. If she is heir, she is. Wow. Okay. She's on cooldown right now. They have one army on the field, and I'm pretty sure it's a beat up army. Yeah, they're running out of generals. We executed way too many of them. We'll see if they summon any new ones. Oh, those three generals might be in three separate armies, actually, or at least two separate armies. There's one back in the Shandong Peninsula, and there's one back in the north, and they're out of stacks. I'll take another round of land and see if that's enough to trigger the abdication. If that is, then it's just over. They summon drawing down here from the bench to replace someone we killed, I think. Oh, she's just returning. Don't really care about that. That would be nice. Four point three. Respectability went down. Okay. It's not a big change. We need to crush more armies. He has a stack rebuilt here. Did they muster back like instantly here? Because they did not have this army before. Can we do this? They'll come hit us. We'll be in pretty bad shape. Be one of those bait situations again. Force them to come out and fight us. McGuire is going to be there in two turns. Oh, we're out of supplies already. All right, hop in here, get some supplies first. He's not gonna make it. All right, this is a dilemma. We can, you know, keep this army 
pretty weak state. I can give up the mustering. But once we go to Bohai, we're not going to have that high of a replenishment rate. They have night battle. I think we saw option where we get one of Gong Sun Zan's generals unhappy here. I think it was Wu Fan. Not sure if I remember that correctly. At least it's not Nanma anymore, but can we. Okay, that works too. Maybe we can get someone from his faction to break. I can mess with his food and income. Maybe starve his armies out a little bit, although that doesn't really affect them as much as they should. Don't care about that. Don't care about that. Don't really care about that. We'll take... I'll still take this, I guess. Now let's take this. If we can get a spy... We can't. Wait. No. It's gotta be a straight abdication. It's close. We're gonna go for it. And pretty much what we can do is just delay them. Because there's no resistance here. And I can have Tosal run all the way here. Guan Yu could show up as a reinforcement army on March. And they can just pop out. And they attack us, we can retreat. And there's still a threat here. And we can dump another army on the field here as well. Right, they have the lovely instant mustering. That is really good. We're probably going to have to hold here for a turn. Yeah, this should work. There's not really anything we want at this point. We can get a bunch of redeployment, but we're out of cash, so it's not like we can send another army on the field. Let's see how Golson's on response. Oh! He agrees. They they quit. That's fair. So we win during the end turn because the AI quit. We'll take that. Ah, take it. Champagne not giving up during all of this. Pretty much what happened to him historically. Shampei 
，神州基业由此而固。所谓天下大事，分久必合。天子只承天命，顺天而治，圣朝厚德，国祚永延。Alrighty, Tolkien makes an appearance again, even though he died. I think by episode five, he didn't live very long. I think sixty-three is all he got to before dying, which is a bit unfortunate. But、uh, Tolkien took over. His early war against Tolkien paid off. We grabbed him after destroying his faction. He got released, I think, twice, and we got fondness from one of those releases, which was really lucky. And thus, he showed up in our recruitment pool, and the rest was history. As Tal Tal led us along the way, a lot of spy action thanks to Tal Tal's bonus. We got the Emperor thanks to Matung's mismanagement of his court. We got some land on the western side. We eventually connected those land after we grabbed the Emperor, and then using spies, we got a pretty easy beachhead、uh, in the north. Even though around Pingyuan, Gong Sunzhen put up quite a fight. We had to go through about six of his armies. Eventually, he saw the light and gave up. And thus we have our win as he decides to abdicate to us. So if we go back, I think we pick up his faction. It's an abdication essentially. So here he is, decided to quit. Fifty-two years young. That was a pretty good resistance at the end from、uh, the kingdom.、Uh, part of the reason is we sort of had our. Army is kind of scattered because we're fighting all over the place. I'll get paid twice,、uh, anyhow. And then Zhao Yun comes join us. We do have the Five Tiger General, I think, because we picked up Zhao Yun, Huang Zhong, Ma Chao, Zhang Fei, Guan Yu. Yep, we have all of them.、Uh, we don't have Liu Bei, unfortunately.、Uh, the man. I don't know who. Who he eventually? He's still a faction, right? Yes. Wayne Pin's growing up. I mean, we split their land and it just became very awkward. They still have a piece of land in none, I think. Anyhow, we have a daughter. Future is secured. We can make her heir. There we go. And、uh, we'll end things here. This was quite fun. It was definitely very different with Trom. I think Tolkien as a free LC、uh, faction. It's not. Uh, that flushed out the mechanic.、Uh, to me, it's one where you have almost no control because, essentially, this only is increased when other factions fight. And once you have a lot of land, like in our case, where we have a lot of、uh, plus population from our land development building, for example, we have a lot of ambient resettlement. So we pretty much will never get a buildup, and essentially we are always kind of stuck at zero. At some point during the game, you know this thing will rise in the early to mid game, and because how bad the units are, I think the bonus at the end is probably better. You can't maintain this bonus for the construction because you can't have AI fight, you know, for you. They're probably fighting against you, and fights you're involved in doesn't generate any displaced population. And like I mentioned, once you have a couple land development, which you definitely will, you're not really gonna get any. Displaced population, so essentially it's just not there. You just have this as your faction bonus, which is nice. You know, six public order is worth one tax tier, and then get a little peasantry boost, a little bit of satisfaction.、Uh, that helps. We have a lot better faction unique units than we would have, even though they sort of fell off, and we kind of relied on gunpowder units, which is one thing I do have against Trom. I mean, they made it very unit focused, and it's fun to have gunpowder units, but. It's really a historical. We got bomb slingers. We even got、uh, essentially fire sticks at the end.、Uh, they're fire lance, basically a gun, and it, it shoots, you know, quite penetrating shots forward, knocking down infantry. Of course, the short range does limit them, but、uh, as a frontline unit, they're actually quite good. So overall, things ended pretty much as expected. We got a little challenge, which is always nice, and.、Uh, We'll come back and play something different,、uh, perhaps a different mod, perhaps a different challenge, and、uh, perhaps a different game. I think we will take a small break from Total War Three Kingdoms. We'll try a few older titles before we come back.、Uh, I want to have some time to plan out what I want to do next for this series. 
So hope you guys enjoyed this one and see you all next time. Bye.